We're going to make it do what it do. Hopefully it's turned right out. I don't know. Rotate your device or your phone. Voila. There we go. We try. I'm sorry, guys. But we're trying to do some uh, technical <laughs> stuff here. I don't know if that's working right. But okay. We're going to do it like this here. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to rotate this a little bit. We're going to rock with it like this. Because technology. Can't live with it. Can't live without it. But we're going to figure it out. But anyway. What's up, guys? Hello. Welcome to the Anti-Negativity Network. We back here to make it do what it do again this week. I uh, have my lovely wife here with me again. So, um, first of all, first of all, y'all know how we do week to week. And that's what we're going to do. So, on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's do it again. One, two, three. One last time. One, two, three. All right. All right. Had to get that deep breath in. Oh, oh, had to get that deep breath in. So, uh, family, we're here. We had to talk about this. I don't know why this thing ain't rotating. But anyway, no, it's good. I, I saw good. it. Yeah. So it was good. So if I rotate it the other way? No, maybe? this is good. Okay. All right. All right. We, I told y'all this is live. We be figuring it out as we go. But um, first off, couple things before we get into what we're going to talk about um thank y'all many y'all have already subscribed to the anti-negativity network and i just want to say thank you appreciate it uh as we continue to grow the network really it's just all about um appreciate it wanda um just trying to you know do all we can to be positive to encourage uh to push you to be better tomorrow than you are today um, and just continue to grow and build. Uh, and so uh, we just continue to move in that. And that's what that network is all going to be all about. And of course, y'all know I'm a, my family, my bowling family. You know, y'all know some stuff will be on there. You already know that. But um, but it's going to continue to grow, continue to move forward. And um, just want to say thank you first off. Uh, next thing, I have to apologize for <laughs> last week uh, and, and my constant mess up. Um, keep talking about Uriah, Uzziah. I just messed the names all up. I jacked all that up. Um, but I wanted to make sure that everybody was clear. And hopefully you went back and read it for yourself. Um, but it was about uh, Beersheba and David. Okay. And so I may make sure I get the names right. I actually put a little note in the uh, uh, remark in Facebook. Uh, um, just trying to clarify that as well. So hopefully you caught that. But please forgive me. Uh, I try my best not to give you bad info on here. Um, and so, uh, especially when you're trying to say something from the Bible, you definitely don't want to say something wrong about the Bible. I ain't trying to give you the wrong word. So, um, but that's all, that's the reason why I always tell you, go read for yourself, go read for yourself. Trust me. I've been to some churches where they'll tell you something that's not in the Bible, been there, done it. So you better, you might want to fact check the, uh, whoever's preaching. OK, matter of fact, if they don't even ask you to open a Bible, you might want to question that a little bit anyway. OK, but if they even if they ask you to open the Bible, you might want to go check the word out for yourself anyway, just to be on the safe side. All right. So. All right. That's it for that. So we're going to move forward. And uh, anything you want to say before we get started? No. OK. No. All right. Um, the scripture for this week, we're just going to go straight to the scripture and I'm going to go paraphrasing again. You got it. You got a word for word. Sure. You know, I can't read that. I just oh. went to the eye doctor. But, <laughs> but the scripture this week is Matthew 5, 13. My and wife going to read it real quick. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. So here's my question to you. What's your flavor? What flavor are you? Okay. Because in that scripture, it talked, uh, talks about us being the salt of the earth. We're supposed to be, just think, let's, let's take it from the food standpoint. All of us know about salt and talk about food. Anybody that has some soul food, you already know what I'm talking about with some salt, right? Um, it gives it a flavor, right? It adds to it. It, it makes it, gives us that, that pop. It gives us that pat out, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to food, right? But you also know if you put too much salt in it, it can also cause that not to be 
uh, edible, so to speak. OK, it, it, it makes it a little tougher for you to get down. Right. But then if you don't put no salt in it at all, it's like that's bland. Where ain't no flavor. Right. So um, this scripture has been on my mind and I shared it with my wife and, and uh, don't be surprised. She ended up taking over the conversation. Well, I ain't gonna be mad about. But because <laughs> we got to talk about this thing. And um, but, you know, we, this is really what I want us to do uh, with this uh, with this scripture is let's do some self-awareness. OK, let's do some some self-checking on this right here. Use this scripture to uh, kind of just check and see where we at. OK, um, you said something that I really would like for you to speak on, really, um, about, you know, when. We see ourselves in one way and people see us in a different way. Right. And so sometimes uh, we have to. Um, it sometimes it's not easy. But. Sometimes we get checked by other folk. Right. <laughs> Ask me how I know I've been married to one for 24 years. <laughs> but sometimes she has to check me. Real talk. Sometimes I even have to check her, believe it or not. But but sometimes we need that because, again, we look at ourselves one way while people might see us in a different way. And sometimes we might think we all that uh, or we think we hitting the mark and we really not. And so sometimes we need um, somebody to give us truth. Let us know what flavor we are at that time. Okay. Cause the reality is we done been all three of those flavors. Okay. I'm gonna come back and talk about those flavors a little bit, but I'm actually to go ahead and expound on what you, if you, you remember what we talked about. Well, yeah, yeah we so. were talking about, um, again, the insult of the earth. And, um, then we, we got into the flavor of bitter. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, I was saying that, you know, we have to, every day we have to check ourselves because, um, bitterness can creep in to our mm -hmm. hearts and we don't even know it. Mm -hmm. And in our head, we think we are okay. We think we're salt of the earth. We think we are, you know, helping people and contributing, um, to value to the earth, et cetera. But we don't see ourselves. We don't see the bitterness that has creeped into our hearts. And, um, so again, there's a scripture that says, you know, God, search my heart and show me what's in my heart. And he will show you that. Uh, and it's a lot of little things, day to day things that creep into your heart and, and um, make you bitter. And before you know it, you're lukewarm. And the scripture says, you know, God would rather for you to be hot or cold and not lukewarm or he'll spit you out of his mouth. And so. Um, so. There has to be a balance between those flavors that uh, Ron is talking about, mm -hmm. the, the salt and the, the, the bitter and um, the bland, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And we have to check ourselves to see where we are at any given point in time. But as you talk about that bitterness piece right there, we're going to talk about that for a second. The bitterness, uh, which is the extreme side. Right. See, sometimes we, we uh, a lot of us in this in this world, a lot of people in this world. We get in our modes where I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100. Right. All that. All those things we say. And, and, and there's nothing wrong with speaking truth. OK. Matter of fact, that's what we're supposed to do. But some, have you ever heard the saying? It's not always what you say, but how you say it. And so sometimes what we say might be truth, but the way we deliver it, that bitterness that has taken root inside of us. That's where we speak from. So how we end up delivering that message, it's hard for that person to receive it because of how you delivered it. Not the message is how you deliver the message. And also another thing that we have to be mindful of is not only how we say it, but also when we say it. Because I could be pulling your coattail about something. But if I do it in front of a whole bunch of folk. How do you think that's going to be received? That's not going to go over too well. And so sometimes we have to check ourselves just to make sure that even though I'm speaking truth, I'm speaking facts. How I do it 
when I do it matters. And, 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 and it could be coming from something that's working on the inside of me that don't need to be there or need to be dealt with because I'm angry. I'm bothered. I'm irritated. I'm, you told me not to say that word. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm not happy. <laughs> so we, but, but that is festering on the inside of us. And so we speak out of that. We speak out of that anger. OK, scripture that comes to mind is uh, be angry, but sin not. Right. There's nothing wrong with being angry, but we got to make sure that that anger doesn't cause us to move or do something that's going to cause further issues or other problems. OK, and that's what sin does. It causes other issues and other problems. Right. So um, we just have to be mindful of that. OK, but now let's switch to the opposite end. Let's switch to the opposite end. The bland side, okay, and and to me the reason why I, I chose to go to bland side because I also want to think of we can all can relate to the food stuff, right? So um, I ain't trying to call them out, but I have to call them out because they all the business. But I remember I used to go to Morrison's, right? Morrison's cafeteria. That was one of my spots, right? I used to go. I was there, right? They almost knew my name, right? So I used to go there to eat. But you start seeing the, the quality of the food go down, go down, go down. And it was beginning to lose flavor to the point where you were just like eating macaroni and cheese. It was just simply cheese and macaroni. Right. And it just didn't have that good taste to it. So then as a result of the food just not having good flavor, it just began to drop and people stopped coming and Therefore, they end up they end up closing the doors. Right. Again, we're talking about self-awareness. We have to look at ourselves on that end and make sure that the pressures of life, the things that we deal with in this life don't suck the life out of us, don't cause us to lose this salt that we're supposed to have. And now we're no longer effective. OK, we're supposed to be iron sharpens iron. Right. We're supposed to be helping each other get stronger, get better. You know, move forward, be better tomorrow than we are today. But how am I going to give you something that I don't have? Right. How can I encourage you when I can't when I'm not encouraged? You know, how can I love you if I don't, don't even feel like I have love? Right. So we can go on and on about the different. And I'm more. I want you to speak on it. I know I'm on my little no, tangent, good. but no, I, I, I just we got to be self-awareness. That's the reason why I've been talking so adamant and, and so strong about going to talk to somebody because sometimes the pressures of life and the things that we have to deal with day to day and the issues and, and all this, the drama and all of that, it just sucks the life out of you. And then this two letter word that we have a hard time saying sometimes that we really need to incorporate in our lives is that word is not the word if, okay, that's only an insurance, but we'll talk about that later. But this is the other two letter word that we have to incorporate and that's the word no. It is so powerful, the word no. But sometimes we have a hard time saying the word no, and then we wonder why we just can't. We can't. We simply can't because we're so bogged down because we're telling everybody yes when we need to be starting adding some no's in that situation so that you can free yourself, so that you can re-energize yourself. That's a word, ain't it? Re-energize. Okay. We're going to make it a word today. All right. Re-in so, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> so, but, but, but the things that go on in our life from day to day sucks the life out of us and it makes us bland and then we lose our saltiness. So then I'm not saying you're not, I know you worth something. That's the reason why I'm talking to you like this, but your effectiveness is dropping and we got to get it back. Go ahead, baby. Um, yeah, Ron is, Ron is um, on point when he says that, you know, life can drain you and zap that saltiness from you. Um, I know within the last three years, I've dealt with about 50 deaths in family and friends, family and friends, 50 in the last three years. So I'm ask, asking God, well, how am I going to remain salt? when I've dealt with all of this, mm -hmm. you know, and I have to remind myself that God's word is God's word, regardless of 
the circumstances and the things that you go through, his word is still his word. Yes. You are salt of the earth. Yes. And so, yeah. you know, if we have to, you know, accept his word and believe, you know, that um, we should follow his word. And so I have to be salt of the earth, you know. And also, here's the other thing. It, what she was talking about, what, what came to mind is, and y'all have heard me say this before, but I have to say it again. You also have to be careful who you hang around and who you decide to talk to and confide in. OK, because you can be around the wrong folk and they sucking that life out of you and they're making you bland while you're trying to stay the soul of the earth. But then you are you you're mixing in with some folk who ain't trying to be on the same level as you. So you have to be careful of that. OK. And so, again, our job is to be the salt of the earth, which means we're supposed to be the one that's affecting change. We are the ones that are affecting people lives in a positive way, building each other up, helping each other be stronger. You know, just if if I if I if I see you doing something wrong, it's not for me to embarrass you. It's not for me. Sorry about that. It's not for me to embarrass you. It's for me to say, hey, let, let me speak to you for a second. OK, embarrassing you, calling you out in front of folk ain't going to be the effective way to do that. Right. So bottom line is, guys, that's our job is to be effective, is to make a difference. OK. And being the salt that we are called to be, according to God's word, that's what we are to be. OK. And so I talk about it all the time. And of course, I got I talk about a lot of things all the time. But your goals and dreams, that's another reason why they are important. That's part of your salt. That's part of your flavor. That's part of what you contribute to this world. Okay? That's part of you making it. Man, we, everybody want to talk to us right now. But, <laughs> but that's part of what we're supposed to be doing to make a difference out here. Your goals and dreams are tied directly to that. I promise you. And then when you get into God's word, ain't nobody tell you to be a Bible scholar, okay? But you need what well, basic instructions before leaving earth, right? We need those instructions. We need understanding. We need direction on how and what to do in this thing called life so we can get the most out of it. And y'all know, just like I know, how great it feels when you know something you have done, something you have said, uh, 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 something that made a difference in somebody else's life. You can't tell me that that's not a great feeling. It's an absolute awesome feeling. And so that's what we are to do. That's who we are to be. Okay. Your dreams and goals. I need you to write them down. I need you to be going for them. I need you to start praying about them. I need you to start focusing, processing, figuring it out. Okay. Because that's your that's your goals. Those are your dreams. That's your purpose for making a difference out here so that you will be the salt of the earth that God called you to be. All right. All right. We love you. We out of here. You got anything close? No. Love you. All righty. We out of here. See you next week, 630. Be safe. Love you.